What is up everybody? We are coming at you live inside the van in a super busy parking lot in South Lake Tahoe, California. Today, we're getting right to the point with something the friends of the vlog know all about. This is the first time you're seeing this YouTube channel. Welcome. Um, it's full of a lot of things and one of them is coffee. <laughs> I have seen a lot of van life coffee videos, but this one is gonna be super straightforward and show you exactly what you need to make a super consistent cup of coffee that you can do every single morning. Cleanup is absolutely nothing almost, and it comes out incredible. This is the coffee cabinet, as well as many other things, but coffee tote. Beanage, this guy, important, also important, importate, el importate. Okay, we're gonna talk about, let's see. This is what I'm claiming. You have five fingers, you only need five things for this cup of coffee. <laughs> Boom, gooseneck kettle, Amazon. Plastic pour over cone, Amazon. Hario, Hario, Hario. I think that's how you say it. Scale, crucial. Amazon, coffee grinder. This one's electric. You can get manual ones. I would highly recommend a manual one because you can adjust um, your coffee grounds and how coarse they are. This one definitely doesn't have an adjustment, but Hamilton Beach coffee grinder. Amazon cone filters. So I know if you guys make pour overs, you're probably like, that's the wrong kind of filter. Well, actually this number four filter can be folded into a pour over cone filter. And these are like three times cheaper than pour over cone filters. Pour over cone filters are preferred. You can get them on Amazon, but you can get these at any grocery store and they are super cheap. So, you know, so let's get to it. How do you make a good pour over cup of coffee? Now I just wanna say I have done almost every method of making coffee in the van. This one is my favorite. We have lived in the van for two years, but it is all preference, so. You. So we are gonna get out our scale. We're gonna grab our grinder lid. Boom, turn on the scale. Make sure your scale is at zero. We're going to add 24 grams of coffee beans. We are doing all this while our water heats up just to kind of like, you know, utilize our time. Now something that is important is to turn your water off just before a boil. You'll start to see bubbles coming up. You don't want it to actually start boiling because that's just way too hot. The water is gonna taste a little burnt and yeah, no one needs their coffee that hot. So, <laughs> so our coffee grounds are ground up to a salt-like texture. It really doesn't have to be exact. I promise you it will come out awesome we can't be too picky we live in a van you know it's it's all good so we've got our number four filter here so what i do i fold this edge and then i fold the other side it's like we're making a paper airplane and then i go like this and boom boom so personally i like to heat up my mug you can do that a couple ways. You can put your mug on top of your kettle like that and heat it up because, you know, we're in the winter time right now and everything's freezing in the van. The next step in this is gonna heat up our mug anyways. So that step is prepping the filter. So we are just going to pretty much soak the filter with water, hot water. So this is gonna get all that paper taste out of the filter and you're not gonna get it in your delicious coffee. So now we're just gonna add our coffee grounds to our filter. Blam. We're gonna shake the coffee grounds a bit to get them level. And then we're gonna stick our finger in the middle of it and make a little indention. 
All right, we got our grounds in the coffee filter, in the cone. We poured out the water out of our mug that we rinsed the filter with. So now we're gonna turn on the scale, make sure it's zeroed, and we're gonna start pouring. We're gonna start in the center, and we're just gonna pre-soak all of our grounds. Usually pour in about 66 milliliters, or 66 grams of water. So this time we poured in 66 grams of water. We're gonna start our timer and go to about 35 seconds. The amount of water that you pour in for your bloom, also known as your pre-soak, kinda varies, I've noticed. Um, you pretty much just wanna get all the grounds wet and then you'll notice that it'll start bubbling and that is your bloom. So now our timer is at 35 seconds and we're gonna start pouring like this in the center. So we are gonna pour until we hit 330 grams of water. So I'm gonna let this first pour kinda die down a little bit and then we're gonna add some more water. All right, our coffee is almost done. We are at two minutes and 20 seconds. I always try to keep it under three minutes. And we did go over 330 grams. We were at 335 grams. That is completely okay. And now we're just waiting for the water to pass through the grounds. Now this is what's so awesome about this coffee method right now. AeroPress is very similar with the cleanup. I love AeroPress also, by the way. But literally to clean up after making this incredible coffee, we dump this in the trash and you're done. I hear people like all around the van right now. When I make coffee at home, it's a very similar process. I do use a V60 pour over cone, but ceramic stuff and glass stuff is not good in the van. So that is how you make the cup of coffee. Now that we got the straightforward part out of the way, we can talk a little more about coffee in general. If you just wanted to know how to make it, then thank you for watching. <laughs> Please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. There is a little more precise way to do this, but it comes out so good every time with that recipe. If you guys are interested in more coffee recipes, I have lots of them, just let me know. If you have any questions about beans, definitely leave a comment down below. I will leave links in the description to all the things that I used for this video. Remember, five fingers. Not gonna lie, I came up with that myself. There are mornings we wake up in the van and it is well below 20 degrees. Our heater is not working currently. So the first thing I do is jump up and make two cups of coffee in this exact way. And it instantly warms me up and gets me like not feeling freezing. If you are going camping or you're thinking about starting van life or you're about to start van life or even if you want to make coffee at home i hope this was helpful for you i know when we went into van life i did not know how i was going to make coffee we started with the french press french press is honestly a disaster in the van cleaning up the french press is terrible and i'm not a huge fan of super oily grainy coffee from there we went to the aeropress the aeropress i will say i love almost just as much as the pour over the AeroPress uses the least amount of coffee for your cup. So you can save a lot of money with AeroPress. Um, the filters are really cheap and small and AeroPress is really fun to make. The cleanup is minimal also. But as far as flavor goes, the pour over uses just barely a little bit more coffee than the AeroPress, but the flavor is so good. It's like that unbeatable flavor with coffee whenever you have the right recipe. I will leave the recipe in the description below as well as the small two cup recipe so you can just kind of copy that and save it if you need it. And if you're having any trouble with remembering how to do this, just come back to the video, maybe save it into your favorites. That way when you're up in the morning and your brain's not quite working yet, you can go back to this video and look at everything. After you do it a handful of times, you'll have it memorized and it will become so easy. I literally do this when I'm half asleep every single morning so thank you guys for watching please subscribe for more epic content thank you for the support and we will see you in the next video you